Hello everybody, this is uh, Srikant Lasari from uh, Lasari Tuts. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, uh, so how to uh, write a basic uh, minimum uh, program uh, in C++ or else in a short form, uh, we are going to introduce ourselves to uh, C++ programming. Okay, so let me launch the IDE. So the IDE here we are using is uh, Visual C++ 2005 Express Edition. Okay, so this is a very old uh, version of uh, Visual Studio uh, Express. Okay, so the current version, uh, so if you go to Google and Google it out, uh, so if you go to google.com. Hi guys, this is Srikanth My video is automatically playing here. Okay, so if you go to google.com and if you say, uh, so Visual Studio Express, okay, so you get the most uh, recent version. Uh, available which is uh, 2013 for uh, Windows uh, desktop okay so the reason I am using uh, uh, Visual Studio or Visual C++ Express Edition uh, 2005 uh, the old version because it's very uh, lightweight uh, and very comfortable to uh, uh, minimal uh, C++ programming uh, since we are uh, uh, using uh, an IDE for just to introduce ourselves uh, or to write uh, uh, the very or to learn the basics of a C++ uh, programming language. So for that reason, uh, I have uh, used this ID. So ID should not matter to us. So whatever the ID in the world you are using, uh, you should be able to. The program works in the same way with just minor uh, changes. Okay. So let me go to the full screen here uh, by pressing uh, Shift Alt Enter, or else you can go to uh, View and you can come out of full screen, or you can go to View and you can say full screen here. So full screen uh, is very comfortable way to write code uh, because uh, it does not allow us uh, uh, any distractions. <coughs> Excuse me. It allow it does not allow us any distractions here. Okay. So once you are full screen, you are just focus on your uh, program. Okay. So the very first uh, uh, statement in any C++ program or C program is going to be a header file. So that's what I'm uh, going to type now. The basic header file uh, in C++ is going to be IO string, so which is uh, somewhat equivalent to stdio.h in uh, C++. Okay. So let me put that comment here. So equivalent. Uh, so comments in C++ uh, are two types of comments here. Okay. So uh, so one type of comment is the one you are familiar with uh, uh, in C. If you have a knowledge of C here. Okay. So which is a slash star and a star slash. Okay. A slash star and star slash. Okay. So apart from that, we have a, a single line comment which is a double slash here. Okay. So you can use either of the either of the one. Uh, so here I am putting a comment uh, saying that uh, somewhat equivalent, somewhat uh, equivalent to stdio.h, stdio.h. Okay. So next a statement is a very basic state, a very uh, a very basic function or uh, uh, main function. Okay. So the main function. Is an entry point uh, for execution uh, of any uh, uh, program. Uh, in uh, if you ha follow any programming language in the world, like the C or C++ or Java or whatever it might be, the main function is the entry point for the execution. Okay, so even though you write uh, ten thousand lines of code, uh, the execution of the program starts with the main function here. Okay, so as uh, starting with the standard C++, uh, which we are uh, uh, using here. Okay, the standard C++ uh, you need to ink. Uh, explicitly uh, say the written type as int because because a positive uh, integer is going to be returned uh, uh, which which signifies that uh, the successful uh, we have a success <coughs> excuse me so we have successfully uh, completed the execution of the uh, program so as soon as as you imply uh, integer here explicitly uh, so you need to add this statement which is also a good practice uh, to say at the end return zero uh, which, uh, which which means that uh, you are telling to the compiler that everything ran smoothly and uh, our program uh, uh, worked well okay so without any issues okay so even though you don't uh, explicitly say return zero the compiler automatically returns uh, uh, zero to the operating system uh, saying that uh, everything uh, ran sm smoothly here okay so so a very uh, basic statement in uh, C++ to just output uh, some text uh, or content to the console window is going to be a C out statement. 
so before that uh, we need to add this uh, small uh, statement here which is which is uh, using namespace here okay so the namespace uh, so the namespace is a very, uh, for, for uh, now, uh, you think of namespace as a toolbox uh, where all the objects of the classes are defined or declared uh, under a single uh, name, uh, which is called as a namespace, okay. So here standard is a namespace in C++, we need to include that uh, since uh, the many objects uh, for, uh, defined in the classes of IO stream header file like scene and cout were all defined under the, the standard namespace, here, okay. So it is very essential to add this statement. Uh, so whenever you are writing a code in the most uh, advanced IDs like Visual Studio or uh, Dev C++ or Eclipse or whatever it might be. So all these latest versions of the IDs uh, imply uh, or impart uh, some standards when writing uh, programs. Okay. So if you omit uh, this uh, namespace statement, you might fall into some con some kind of errors here. Okay. So the next basic statement, uh, just to print some uh, uh, text is going to be C out followed by this uh, insertion operator. Okay, so this is an overloaded operator uh, used with the object uh, C out here. So the sole purpose of this uh, C out statement is to put some text in the output here. Okay, so you can say some uh, text. Hey, I am writing C++ <coughs> code in uh, Visual C++ 2005 Express. Okay, so a small statement. So whatever it might be. Okay, so before that, uh, the slash and equivalent. Uh, so if you remember uh, your uh, old school C programming, uh, there you have you might have used this uh, format specifiers like slash and slash t. So starting with the standard C++, uh, the syntax has changed. You can use uh, so you are uh, you are required or uh, you are uh, allowed to use this uh, manipulator which is known as uh, endl so endl uh, signifies or uh, which, is, which works uh, in the same way as uh, slash and works in the c programming okay so new line uh, so in c++ in c++ is object oriented programming language so here you are uh, uh, requested or you are uh, standardized or you need to make yourself habituated to use uh, all the contents of uh, object oriented uh, nature like the manipulators like endl or uh, objects and so on and so forth okay so if you want you can keep uh, so end at the ending also okay so now in order to run this uh, program in our uh, ID uh, which is a visual C++ uh, express edition 2005 or if you are using a visual studio or whatever it might be so there are uh, three different ways the one is uh, the first you can go to uh, debug and you can say start without debugging or else you can press uh, control F5 here so if you do that, uh, so automatically it runs and compiles and runs <coughs> and automatically the output whatever uh, you are intended to display on the screen has got displayed here, okay. So here I am writing C++ code in Visual C++ 2005 Express, okay. So apart from that, uh, you can uh, also say uh, control F5 as we have uh, as as the button there indicates or uh, start without debugging uh, shortcut is control f5 here okay so apart from that you can also uh, run the program using a start debugging mode okay so everything uh, it goes well it just disappears the output here uh, just got disappeared because so if we need to use uh, uh, some uh, function such that uh, the output stays until the user gives an input from the keyboard in c we used to use we used to use this uh, get c8 statement so starting from C++, uh, we have uh, scene dot get uh, the get method uh, with uh, the with reference to the, the scene object here. Okay, so scene dot get. Okay, so scene dot get is the method uh, which we are going to use uh, here. Uh, its sole purpose is to just to make the output screen uh, stand still until you are uh, displaying uh, until you give an input from the keyboard. Okay, so now if you press F5 is equivalent to start uh, debugging uh, mode okay so here you have the same output uh, whatever you are intended to put on the output screen here okay so using a cout statement so if you want you can increase the font size by just uh, changing the font and size and so on and so forth okay so we come out of it and again if you simply hit f5 so you get the output display here okay so this is the most uh, simplest possible uh, c++ program uh, in the world you can ever write 
using uh, our uh, Visual C++ Express Edition uh, 2005. Okay, so to summarize once again, uh, the very first statement which we have uh, included is a header file. Uh, the most basic header file in C++ is uh, IO stream. And then we have used this uh, namespace. Uh, for at this instance, you consider namespace as a toolbox uh, where all the uh, necessary objects uh, and uh, manipulators and all the, were stored under a single name known as a standard namespace here. Okay? So then we have uh, uh, the very basic uh, main function, which is the entry point for execution uh, of any program in the world. Okay. So the main explicitly uh, we need to mention here uh, int uh, since uh, the default written type is not int uh, starting from the standard uh, C++ version. So for that reason we have uh, returned a zero here which is uh, indicating that we have used a uh, written type of int here. Okay. So and then we have used this uh, the cout object with uh, overloaded uh, this uh, insertion operator. Okay. So just to output some content uh, to the output screen. Okay, so if you run the program for the one last time, you just get displayed the system. Okay, so if you want, you can put another uh, uh, cout statement with our uh, standard uh, format uh, strings like slash and slash t. You can put another message here. It's hello, I am from India. I'm doing a lot of mistakes today. Okay. So we run the program once again. So you just get uh, that uh, statement as well here. Okay. So this is the basic stuff. Hope this uh, helped you. So put your uh, valuable feedback in the form of comments on YouTube and uh, give a thumbs up to it. And feel free to share uh, this tutorial in all other uh, social media websites like Facebook, uh, Twitter, or whatever it might be. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.